we're gonna try and get everything ready to rock. Cora Joe, you ready, buddy? Yeah, you are. So, we're going fishing today. Um, kind of got the wild hair. It's a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. So, we're gonna get to uh, hit the water and try and catch some crappie. Just gotta get a few things loaded up in the boat and we'll be good to go. Um, hmm. We'll give this a try. Perfect. New anchor rope, definitely needed because this one is too short. <clears throat> and it's kinda seen better days. It has definitely been used and abused. It will never look this good ever again. And there we go. what kind of tangled mess we have in here it'll probably tangle up the second i get it out but that's just kind of how it goes got good fuel don't need that anymore might save it though that could come in handy for something i think uh, we're ready to rock and roll here hopefully we can catch a few fish i think the walleye might be starting to move up so i might try and fish for those a little bit and then uh, we'll try and hit the crappie. So stay tuned. This will be kind of fun. We're going to try out the new Hummingbird Helix 7. We're going to do some kind of trolling for crappie. And we're going to use some new rods. So if you guys watched the last video, you got to stay tuned. I uh, made a huge, 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 huge mistake. Um, I forgot my sunglasses. Fortunately, it's kind of cloudy. But... I would really like to have my sunglasses. I should probably send my old pair of Costas back in and get them fixed. So then I have a pair to keep in the truck for situations like this because it's happened quite a few times now. Oh, Cora's ready to go. She's gonna just hang out in the boat with us today. You know, today's pretty nice and I think it's gonna be a, a good day out of the water. It might be a little bit windy. So we'll have to kind of play it by ear with that because who knows what's gonna happen. But I'm looking forward to this. This is the first, uh, other than the last time, I didn't even video, but um, first time on video, getting to go out and uh, do some fishing for the year. So I'm super pumped about it. Cora's pumped about it. We're all pumped about it. And uh, we're gonna try and catch some fish today. Okay, so here's kind of the game plan. I'm gonna start off today just by trolling. So I got some of these new baits from Rogers Sporting Goods. They're all new this year, crappie fishing lures. And I kind of picked out some colors that I thought would work really well for this lake in particular. So I think what we wanna use is, um, you know what, we're gonna go with these little, we got four hooks going, two rods, and we're gonna troll. So I think I wanna do one rod with that and that, and one rod with this and that. So we kind of get four different bait presentations, kind of sticking with the same colors there. All right, so black and chartreuse. What's this one called? The Jester. They smell really good too. There we go, there's one. And we want the all white prankster, a little swim bait kind of deal. So we'll try these out and uh, see what we can do. There we go. Yeah. First fish on the new rod. Yeah. 
There's one. Not a giant. That's for sure. There's a fish. Finally got anchored in and we're catching them. Still on that little black and green one. Nothing's hitting the line. Oh, this one feels pretty decent. My reel would go. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's still on. There we go. Good deal. Doubles your chances. It's the first one on a white. There we go. That one feels pretty decent, actually. Not bad. There we go. There's another one. It's been a slow start to the day, but finally on some fish. Took a while. I was starting to think we weren't going to catch anything today, but now we got got the old hot spot, and we're catching all these on the. Uh, Brand new Sly Shad from Rogers Sporting Goods. So if you guys are looking to pick up some new baits this year, these are working really well. I like the Sly Shad. This style of bait is my favorite for crappie fishing. So that's what I'm throwing. Let's see if we can get some more. Not after giants today. Man, this is fun. We're just out here working this little concrete pillar here and doing pretty good. So, can't complain about this. Nice, relaxing first day out here catching some fish. Got the pooch. I don't know if there's anything better than this. Oh, I didn't even feel that one. So I lifted up my rod. That's a good one. That one's not too bad, actually. Probably one of the bigger ones for the day. See ya. Not about all, it's not always about the size. It's about the fun. And this is fun. Oh boy, I really messed that up. So uh, yeah, this is my first time getting to try out these new rods from ACC Crappie Sticks. And first time using like a really long rod like this. Before this rod, 
Um, the longest rod I've used was like a seven foot. So this is an 11 foot jigging rod and it's actually pretty awesome because I'm able to reach out and be right over these fish without being, having to be right on top of them directly. So I really like that. The sensitivity is good. It's got a good backbone. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with these on the first time out. So I'm looking forward to using them throughout this whole fishing season. And I'm really looking forward to learning how to crop fish and learning how to target these things and really get on them because in the past I've struggled, but I'm determined this year. Got the new electronics, got the boat, got new rods, we're ready to go. So this will be a fun spring and summer getting on these crappie and getting to do some crappie catching, maybe do some catching cooks eventually one of these days. I'm just, I'm not a big fish eater, honestly. So oh, that was, uh, so I don't usually keep a lot of fish, but every now and then a good old crappie nugget does sound pretty good down there. <sighs> he choked it. What do you think of the little fishy? Is that crappie? I think it tastes good too? I'm probably gonna get yelled at in the comments for letting you lick my fish, but it's okay. You're my best friend. What? What a way to turn around the day. I was sitting on that spot for probably close to two and a half hours, just one after another after another. It, it's been a blast. Cora's been really good, just chilling in the in the boat, sitting on her place board. So it, it's been a great day out here on the water, and I hope you guys. Uh, like these fishing videos because I want to get out and do this more like I said um, I'm pretty new to crappie fishing I always grew up bass fishing and I just kind of got the wild urge to you know experiment something new and target some crappie so I'd say day one this year has been a success and I cannot wait to get out here again but it's time to uh, put the boat back on the trailer and go get some Mexican food with my wife I'm looking forward to that just as much as I was looking forward to going fishing today I actually Today, I, I woke up thinking it was gonna be like cold, windy, rainy day, but there was blue skies, sunshine, light winds, and uh, it definitely was a good choice to go fishing. So, I had fun. So, that's gonna be kind of a wrap for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps out a ton. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for some more content. What do you think, Cora? You wanna say bye to everybody? Or are you just gonna try and eat that ginormous tree? <laughs> She's a stick-eating fool. But uh, I, I think that's it for today, so I'll catch you guys on the next one.